Hello everyone, get ready for some trending new info in your quest for knowledge. Rule 34 Artists of Reddit, what was it like on the first time you started drawing porn? Sometimes I see Rule 34 commissions my girlfriend is working on and I'm just really confused why somebody wants to have a drawing of that. It's a decent side income for her and most people who commission art from her seem quite polite and reliable about paying compared to when she does other stuff like band logo commissions. They just request some really odd things. A giant robot fridge with a dick that comes out of the freezer compartment that's simultaneously screwing a furry skunk character and turning them into an ice cube was a pretty memorable why? Moment. You start with your own unique style, but kinda like the Skyrim stealth archer meme, you eventually and inevitably end up drawing for furries. Probably because that's where the money is. Furries will drop thousands in a costume, imagine what else they spend their money on. Furries are the 21st century equivalent of renaissance patrons. It was really embarrassing lol. I had to put down my tablet pen and just contemplate every 5 minutes because I felt like an absolute fool. You, staring at the zoomed in picture of a dick you're drawing, realizing that you've just spent 20 minutes carefully detailing realistic veins on that schlong, what the f am I doing with my life? God's work. I mean, literally. Who designed the first dick? God did. He sweated every little detail. I often used porn as a reference for drawings because it's easy to find pictures of naked people of all sizes in every imaginable posture. So it wasn't that much of a leap. It was on Dan Buru. You get a lot of likes and commissions. Easy money. But it gets old real quick. Don't know what people's deal is with tentacles. They always need more. I was inspired by Minara, who is a very fine artist. But he didn't only draw porn. You also start to understand things like why gynecologists aren't aroused by their work. My best friend, she's not a weeb by any stretch, has explained that tentacles in general came into hentai because penises had to be censored. So the search for something phallic that was acceptable through the censors wound up with tentacles. It kinda became its own thing from there. Tentacles are flexible in ways penises aren't, and don't block views the way bodies do. They also don't have restrictions on weight, positioning, or number, so you have have a triple pen, or more, without any view obstruction, in poses that would be impossible in traditional porn involving humanoids. It's a side hustle. I'm not a full-time artist or aspiring to be one, it's a hobby for me, but deadass furries put artists through college. It's a solid way to make money but it's embarrassing. Hence why I don't tell anyone I do it bc they judge me. The first time I was just kind of like damn has it really come to this? But now it's just a convenient way to make money. Yeah. I have a sketchbook just for my NSFW stuff and I had to label it so people wouldn't just pick it up to look through. Got tired of explaining to friends no, I'm not into that. I get paid to draw that. I had no idea what I was doing and drew really terrible anatomy. It really helped me realize that even for my SFW works perfecting a character's anatomy is very important to do before clothing them. Now it's just the same as if I was drawing anything else except a mildly horny during the process. Posting for my so, since she does not use her reddit. Pros, money is great, nobody trampies and whines about paying in exposure, most clients are polite. Cons, some requests make you hate human race, you can't even mention you are a female cause they will simp all over you, some clients can be very picky about end products details, don't ask. If I'm paying for porn, it better be amazing porn just saying. This. I better count the sweat and the veins of that dick if I'm paying for porn. I was in math class and I was bored. I was trying to draw the three-titted whore from the cover of Flash Fearless vs the Zorg women and suddenly I had new friends in driver's ed. They were trying to get the friend discount. Drew a stickman with one leg too many. And large glasses that were not on the face. What was it like first? Well I had to change my underwear a couple of times. Being able to draw exactly what you imagine is something that's hard to describe without trying it out. When I first started sharing my art online I used to get somewhere between 0 and 10 likes on it. After switching to NSFW, those numbers went to 100s and sometimes 1000s. I still haven't made any money out of this but that's something I hope to be able to do in the future. I still haven't made any money out of this but that's something I hope to be able to do in the future. May I ask why? If you get over a thousand likes it seems to me that you can open up for commissions right? It was the other day, someone told me to do it, and it seems, I always do what I'm told. Their suggestion and my talent yielded something the world should never have seen. Well, 
now I wanna see. On she's a fine lass. Please be kind, the truth is I have no talent, and at the moment very little grasp on reality. TLDR it started as a desperate way to deal with my PTSD, now it's a financially successful comic with over 140 pages. I started writing a porn comic as a way to deal with a near-death experience I went through. I had to be put into a medically induced coma for over a week because of a really bad upper respiratory infection, not COVID-19, and I have PTSD from the that. It is nightmarish to wake up in a hospital from a coma and have a whole building full of people basically do whatever they want with you and your body without even consulting you. At first, making porn was embarrassing, but my need to express what I had been through in a free way outweighed that embarrassment. In order for me to write the dialogue and plan out the plot, I had to access feelings and memories I was trying so hard not to connect with. Creating characters I could empathize with was difficult, but it was easier than empathizing with other people, because I had come to distrust other humans so deeply. A few months after I started making the comic and releasing it for free online, I found people were collecting it. They urged me to start a crowdfunding site, which became pretty successful. Now, two years later, Multiple chapters of the comic have come out and it's the main source of income for the illustrator I partner with. Till. I didn't need to know any of this. Just had to read it all. Can't unsee. I'm going down the rabbit hole right now. Should I venture deeper you wise master? Venture deep in me daddy. I write instead of drawing, though I do follow lots of NSFW artists and spend a fair amount of time cursing their skill and my lack thereof. First time I decided to write a full hardcore story. I was on a work trip sitting idle in a hotel lobby while waiting for the next work thing to happen. While I had a lot of experience writing in general, most sex scenes were always gently wafting curtains. Turning off that filter and writing full on engorged cock and swollen tits was quite liberating. Otherwise, I was sitting at work so it felt more or less like being a cheeky student writing swear words on the desk. Later, writing in private, the work was more inspiring. Once you've done it for a while, you start working off the craft a little more than off the urge. First story came out like dirty talk during sex. Lots of focus on using sexy words, overly gratuitous moaning noises, stuff like that. Stories nowadays go a little more like dirty talk while having breakfast the next morning. What would have been your answer or question? Leave it in the comments below. Slap that like and subscribe button for more, and check out the link in the video description for even more answers. Peace out and catch you in the next video.